June, uh, October, 2008. I used to not watch the TNA pay-per-views regularly. As you guys know, before this year, I really only watched like one or two TNA pay-per-views a year. Well, five if you count 2004 when I watched their weekly pay-per-views for a time. Anyways, a TNA usually post the results of their show, and I usually just read the results. I used to do that all the time. For Hard Justice, TNA wasn't clear on it, and uh, and the results, so I got impatient. I mean, they weren't clear. I couldn't understand them. I went on YouTube. I saw this guy. I do not remember his username. I just remember he made a video about it. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Then... TNA for No Surrender, they didn't even put them up that night. So, like, I gotta find it now. Oh, I did that last time on YouTube. I don't know how I thought it would be on YouTube, but it was. So, I went, okay, fine. I typed it again, No Surrender Review. Found a uh, guy's video. I watched it again. Don't know who it is. And then the related videos, I saw Armin. I saw Hard Justice Review, and I thought the first guy, his review was only okay. I'm, I'm still not clear on some things. So, I clicked Armin's video. I saw his video. And that's how I met Armin. Well, that's how I first saw Armin. Not the first time I met him. I wouldn't meet him until months later. Armin, I thought at first was a TNA mark, but by this point, this was the point where he was pissed that Sting was going to make him a bound for glory again, and that uh, and that uh, Jericho and Michaels would be a great ladder match. So he was kind of like WWE mark. He was kind of just was he was upset with TNA, wasn't upset with TNA, whatever. Armin, I just don't get you. In March, you give Taker Shawn Michaels three and a half stars. Everyone bitches you out for doing so. I never did. You know I never did. And Wrestling Jesus makes a video saying, Why do you care if someone reads the five stars? Why do you give a shit? And you said you got into a big fight with the Sky Trackers on video. You said in your video, Wrestling Jesus video, excellent, I agree, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Then how come when someone says one bad thing, about that TNA in general, or the show on Monday, you fucking lose it. On everyone's videos, where you have a problem with them, you comment. You have comment. Whenever someone bad mouths TNA, you have to, it really offends you to the point where you have to comment. Gilbert Blaze told me, he made a video, I, I've, I've seen that one, I haven't seen the second one, on TNA, how he thought TNA was the better show. Then he made another one, which I haven't seen yet, but he told me that he went more into detail on TNA's flaws, and you commented, you're just doing that because you're afraid people are going to call you a TNA mark. How are you respecting other people's opinions if you get so offended when someone offends TNA? I'll give you a point. Your your whole point that I did not mention because I thought it was it was a useless argument and if you wanted me to counter it and continue finding fine. How I said, in my opinion, the four-way was better than the opener for TNA for the Terradome, which it was, in my opinion. And your argument to counter that was, why are you even comparing them? That's that. See, that's your that's your scapegoat. That's your getaway. You say that because you don't want to face the facts that you you even thought the four way was better. So you're saying, why are you comparing them? Why are you comparing them? Why do you give a shit, Armin? Why do you give a shit if I compare two matches on my own damn channel? How does it bother you? You're saying, oh, but you're gonna give your subscribers the wrong impression. True Slayer, uh, one of the top subscriber people on YouTube, love TNA. He gets a lot more views than I do, so clearly I think he'll make a better impression. Spinternet, like TNA more. He'll make a better impression. Why does my channel offend you in such a way whenever, not just mine, whenever anyone complains about TNA, about the show most, most specifically? Why does it bother you so much? Want me to get to your arguments? Fine, I'll get into your little arguments. Okay, you said in your video, Big Rad, this proves how you know nothing what you're talking about. You said Jeff Hardy should be world champion because he's what got you into TNA. Armin said, I think Jeff should be champion because he's what got me into TNA. Listen to this. Used to be in TNA. Used to be getting title shots. And yes, I did see TNA. You see that part where I said, he used to be in TNA. Used to be getting title shots. Insert a comment there, Armin. A comma, Armin. Do you know what a comma is? And then, or parentheses bracket. And then, or parentheses. What am I saying? Or bracket of parentheses, I forget what it is, but I'm pretty sure a comma's fine. Now, listen to what I say now. In 2004, for your information, that was the first time I saw TNA Jeff Hardy get a title shot. That's why I watched TNA in 2004. Because he was getting title shots. Because he was fighting for TNA. 
Now, you insert the other comma, and then I go back to my original thought. Jeff Hardy used to be getting title shots. He used to be main eventing. That's why they should have used him more as a main eventer. Get Got it? Really, Armin? You can't fucking listen? Was that so hard to listen to? You really... Obviously, I was saying this stuff, and to prove that I know what I'm talking about, I would say, I said, by the way, yes, I did see TNA 2004. Jeff Hardy's the reason why I watched TNA 2004, because he was getting title shots. That's why he should go to the main, that's why he should main event TNA. Okay, you're saying, and maybe I should have made my point a little bit clearer. It just makes more sense for Jeff. To be Jeff is not Jeff is not Jeff can still go in the ring for the most part. I mean, Je yeah, uh, he's a good entertainer. I just I've never liked him as a wrestler. Now, Jeff Hardy would bring TNA a lot of exposure. Obviously, let okay. Obviously, now he, he just got indicted. That's not a good thing. But when when the videos were made, Jeff Hardy what when I wanted Jeff. To get more of a push in TNA, because I, I, I truly didn't think he'd ever get, I didn't think he'd really get indicted. Uh, I thought he'd be great. I, people, he had him after the AJ a while back that people thought went too short and should have been great. Uh, he still can go to the, nah, nah, he could still pretty much go if he wants to. That's the only thing that's the problem. He can bring, like I said, it was the WWE's biggest draw, man. The biggest draw in the WWE. I'm pretty sure that will get TNA a lot. And you're saying, and I would agree with this normally, Jeff Hardy shouldn't be pushed over guys like, actually, let me bring up your comment, your exact words. Let's just forget Daniels, who's in a feud with AJ. Okay, Daniels, eight second promo, then cut off, and now it's feuding with Val Venus. Good job, Armin. Joe, who won the briefcase for TNA, barely on the show last week, beat Abyss. I know that was a mistake on my part. I, I knew he would beat Abyss. I saw it and I just said it wrong. And most likely, as of now, there's nothing to do with Genesis. Angle. Angle. Really, Armin? Didn't you say in your video, Big Rap, by your logic, if Jeff Hardy should be world champion, we would have Kurt Angle win the title of Genesis, then Kevin Nash fight him, then Jared and Sting, because they're all former world champions. So how come in your argument as to why Jeff Hardy should not be world champions because other guys are doing better, you use fucking Kurt Angle? Be consistent! This was on your own video too, that's what makes it worse. Be consistent, Armin. Come on. And, uh, yes, I am wearing a different shirt. I made this video two different parts, but, uh, um, this is where I have a problem with you, Armin. This is where... I don't know why you're like this. I already said how you you hate it when someone bashed. Well, I won't say you hate it when someone bashed TNA. Even though you do, you get on a lot of people's cases. So many, and so many people are pissed off, get pissed off at you for doing so. But the fact is, you're so passionate about this Monday night thing. And if anyone and you said, oh, well, I haven't seen all these videos, I just have to check those out and give my opinion. No, you don't fucking have to like tell everybody that you're right. Okay. Some people didn't like TNA. Deal with it. They didn't like it on Monday. For a person like you, who got persecuted for giving Taker Michaels three and a half instead of five, and you said Justin used to make a very video saying, why do you care if someone gives a five stars? Well, Armin, I'm going to say it again. Why do you give a fuck? Because after this uh, after this comment about you named all the guys who would be doing better if Jeff Hardy was not champion, you said, stop arguing. You're wrong. You're wrong in all caps. I can tell why some people on YouTube don't like you. This is just despicable. Are you that are you that prone to never ever ever be wrong to just say stop arguing you're wrong? Oh really? Well seeing as how you fucking said angle in your video as an example of people of former WWE champions should always be pushed, you're using angle as an example of people who would get shafted if Jeff Hardy and other WWE stars took over, which makes no fucking sense. There's no consistency in that statement at all. But you're saying I'm wrong. And then in another comment, you said, at least you admit you're wrong about one thing and ignore other stuff you're wrong about, such as comparing to random matches and not the matches that would make sense. Other stuff, that's one thing. And I told you, why do you fucking care? And just admit you're wrong and the rest of the argument and we'll be over. No, because I'm not wrong. 
I don't, I'm not saying I'm, okay, I won't say that. I'm not going to say that I'm wrong. I'm not going to say that you're right. I'm going to say that's what arguing is. It's fucking opinions. In my opinion, Jeff Hardy should have been pushed the world title, seeing as how he's a big fucking name right now. He's still in his prime right now. He's in his fucking prime. Jarrett, Sting, Nash, Diner, no longer in their prime. Kali never fucking had a prime. Sheamus still has not reached his prime. That's how Jeff Hardy differentiates from all of them. He used to be in TNA. Storyline-wise, it wouldn't make sense. He can still go in the ring, and not to mention he put on great matches. I'm not saying you have to shaft everyone else. Just to help him out a little. I think TNA needs it. If they want ratings, if they want more people, respond all you want. Call me a mark. Call everyone a TNA hater. Because you can't take it. Whatever. Just deal with it. I'm out. Bye.